Well, here's Jerry again talking about Saracenius. I hope you're not bored with Saracenius. I could talk about quantum mechanics, but since I know nothing about quantum mechanics, I think I'll stick to Saracenius. <laughs> now, the hybrids we're going to talk about today all include Perp Montana. Perp Montana being a form of Venosa. And um, you can see the difference here. This is a fancy color form of Venosa, and this is Montaigne. Besides the very striking contrast we got here, the main issue with Montana is that it's closed. Uh, Dr. Millichamp, Larry Millichamp doesn't uphold this as a valid tax in the botanical terms because he's finding it at different locations where presumably it derived from uh, other Venosa populations and uh, independently of all. And it's a beautiful plant, usually a smaller plant. And when combined with other species and hybrids, it makes some beautiful color and forms. Now here we have one crossed with a plant I got from Doreen Cast. At the same time, I got Doreen's Colossus. And crossing up Perp Montaigne, it makes it very nice, bunchy pictures here. And these hybrids will expand fairly slowly. They bunch and they don't run out to the sides of the pot fast, which means they need little attention over time. Now we're going to get some other color effects here. Now when we're causing that with Luco, Lucophila, we can get things like this. This is times Luco Elba. Um, from Baldwin County. And this is, I just love this. I just love these effects. These super roughly, but somewhat formal pictures in the coloring. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more of this stuff. I've done a lot of it, but you do need to do a lot more of it. And here we have another cross, a similar cross. Um, another local cross with a Perp Montaigne and that helmet, that's just exquisite on these plants. And then we have a bigger one. Now then, when you're making crosses, you'll get one with exceptional vigor and this one has exceptional vigor. And this is just a local times Perp Montaigne. I don't know which local it was. If I did, I'd repeat that specific cross. Okay. Yeah, and of course, I'm hybridizing with this. In this case, Prometheus times E ice and fire. And in this one, let's get that tag out here. Self, well, why not? I bet I get some really pretty plants out of that. Okay, now we're going on to the Perp Montaigne crosses with other types of plants. Not, do not have white in them, so we don't have the white. Now this one is OP, Perp Montaigne, open pollinated. I have no idea, but it's an extraordinarily lovely thing, I believe. And this one is going to be named for the wolf mother that raised Romulus and Remus. And um, yeah. That wolf needs some honor. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now here we have a red man, Thais Perp Montaigne. It is very bunchy, holds together really well, doesn't spread out much at all. A good plant. 
And for the last one in this cycle, we got an Oreo, number three, Heinz Port Montaigne. Now, because it's got Oreo in it, it's senescing faster than the others. And this is going to be true about any time we use Oreo in a cross. It's, they're going to senesce faster. But it has its glory moments early in the year when it's just wonderful and it's still holding up pretty well now. And we passed this one with Doreen's Colossus Time Chinook. I have some hope for that. Well, I shouldn't have made the cross if I didn't have hope for it. Okay, this is the termination of this episode. Thank you, children, for attending. <laughs>